What's good people, it's Jay Cactus and in today's video I'm going to be making a 5 year foreign type beat. I'll be using some sounds from my upcoming drill one shot kit which I'm going to release when I hit 5k subscribers. So hopefully by next Tuesday when I upload another video I'll be at 5k and the one shot kit will be out. So let's get into it. Alright so just to show you some sounds I'm dropping in the kit. We've got bells, some brass, flutes, guitars, a lot of keys, pads and strings. They were the main ones that I went for in this kit. Because the, the strings are probably my favourite. Because there's some perfect like pop smoke type and then there's some short ones, all realistic strings. Like these strings are just perfect. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using these strings today for this tutorial. And then there's some vocals as well. There's like quick shots. And then choirs. Everything you need for drill beats, pop smoke type beats. And then there's some extra instruments as well, just for like, just in case you want to get a bit creative. So the first thing I'm going to do is start laying in some chords. So I'm working in C sharp minor. Yeah, something like that. Copy this one. And then maybe something similar again. But switch it up. Now I want this to go down. Yeah, maybe like that. And then copy that and change the last bit. I've just randomized the velocity as well. Just a little bit. Already I know this is going to turn out mad. Now I'm going to add a cello in for the bass notes and to find the bass notes it usually sounds best when you go with the root note of the chord and just because this is the bottom note of the chord doesn't mean it's the root note so you could try inverting some to find the actual chord so if I invert this up you can see you've got an F sharp minor chord because so it starts here then goes one, two, three, one, two, three, four. If you've watched my other tutorials you'll know that's how to work out a chord so I'm going to go F sharp for the bass note here. And then you could either come to C sharp. Sounds good. I'll try this as well. Yeah, I might use E. So I'm kind of following the middle notes here. Same again, but switch up the ending. Yeah, there we go. And then for a counter melody, I'm going to use a piano that's in the one shot kit, like a crackle piano. And all I'm doing here is just Pasting in the chords from the strings, but I'm going to press Alt and A to make it an arpeggiator. So now if you listen. Bring them down. Maybe bring them up an octave just to see how it sounds. So I might bring the strings back up and then have the piano here because I think the piano sounds better in this area. In fact, I like it better with the piano down here. And then for the snare, I'm going to do a bit of a drill pattern, but I'm going to have it backwards. So rather than the snare going here and here, I'm going to do it backwards. So here. Oh, 
right? And then just copy that. It's quite a simple pattern. Just to switch it up. And then the hi-hats have come up with this. I wanted it to have a drill kind of bounce, but not just that typical same drill pattern. So have a listen to this. So you can hear that the hi-hat and the snare are kind of bouncing off each other. So I think that bounce sounds sick there. And then for the 808, I'm going to start off by following the same pattern as the cello. So I've got the root note here, but I'm not using the root note here just because I liked how it sounded on E. And then of course I'm going to add in some slides. So with the slides, I'm thinking three here. So let me just cut this up. So three, and I'm gonna use the same notes that I'm using in the chord. So if I switch it to slide mode, I wanna use A, F sharp and C sharp. So maybe F sharp here, C sharp and then A. Yeah. And then for here, I'm hearing quite a few slides in my head, so Add in five slides, so. So let's see what that is. So again, I'm gonna follow the notes in the chords. E, C, and G sharp. Yeah, there we go. And then one here, and then another on G sharp. Alright, so I spent a bit of time on the 8 weight pattern and this is what I come up with. And then for the kick, I've basically followed the 8 weight pattern, took out some kicks and then added a quick little roll here. So listen to this. I've just added this room shot in as well. Just to add to the bounce. And then a simple open hat pattern. And I'm using this vocal one shot from the one shot kit, but I've pitched it up an octave and then blended it in with the original. I probably only have that in the hook. So from here, I'm definitely gonna add a few more things in, like some rises and some crashes, and I want it to be kind of epic sounding. So I'm gonna mix everything, arrange it, and then I'll show you the outcome. All right, so I finished mixing and arranging the beat, and honestly, this could be my favorite beat. This is sick. Like, I know I've said that in a few videos, but this one just feels epic. It's like some movie shit. But I haven't changed too much in it. I've just got strings that I've brought down, like an octave in some parts and brought them back up. And then I added some bass notes of the piano just to add some bass in certain areas. And I'll just play it. I, as you can see, I've got a lot of like impacts and rises too. So that crackle piano comes in now with just the bass notes. And then the cello comes in. That's sick.
starts with a verse. Cellos come back in again now. Changes a little bit. And then the hook. So the strings will come back up an octave and they are pretty every time. Everything kind of just dies back out at the start of the second verse and then it kind of repeats again. And then for the outro, I've made the outro kind of long, but it works. So the strings just play here. And then the cello comes back out. And then I've added half time to the piano. Right about now. And then from here it just fades out. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you were feeling the beat. As I said, this could be my favorite beat, man. Well, it's definitely up there in like my top three anyway. I think it came out mad. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And all the sounds that I use in this video, they're gonna be available in my one-shot kit, which hopefully I'll be releasing by Tuesday if I hit 5K subscribers. Um, my videos are always every Tuesday and Thursday, so the next video, it should be dropped. But the free version will have about 25 sounds and then the paid version will have about 100 sounds but you've seen the quality of the sounds that you're going to get in the kit and the type of beats that you can create so i'm looking forward to dropping that but i'll see you next time